what is Linux? So of course, um, we are going to learn Linux, but we do want to know what exactly Linux is. Linux is an operating system. It's just like any other operating system. For example, Microsoft has Windows. Um, Apple has Mac. Uh, Sun, which is now owned by Oracle, they have Solaris running on Spark um, hardware. So Linux is an operating system which sits in the middle of your hardware and the users. And the users are the one who run the applications so it's like a, a middleman or a bridge that takes the commands from users and translate them to hardware so look at this picture so you see a computer right so if without an operating system this computer is considered like a dumb terminal it doesn't do anything so how does it work so um, we have this terminal which is of course a piece of brick you open the tray of that computer, you insert your CD or DVD in. That CD or DVD has the operating system image sitting on it, whether it's a Windows or uh, whether it's Linux or whichever operating system that you are installing. So you boot your computer from that operating system. So once you're booting it up, it goes through the installation process. That installation process is going to ask you a bunch of questions like how do you want the operating system to be configured? How do you want your disk partition? How do you want how many users you want to have installed and so on. So once the installation uh, is done, then at the end of the installation, it's going to ask you to reboot. You reboot the computer and it comes up to the welcome screen and will say welcome to Linux or welcome to Windows or whichever the operating system that you're installing. So then you could attach external devices to it. For example, you could attach keyboard to it. You could attach mouse to it. So you use these mouse and keyboards. You type a certain uh, commands, certain um, you use applications and type them and then you send it to your operating system then your operating system takes those commands and forward it to other hardware or other system uh, peripherals so some of them are for example we have printer so you if you are running an application for example you're running microsoft word you type it in with your keyboard and then you want to print that document right so the operating system will take that document and send it to your printer and your printer will spit out the document that you want to print or if you are running other programs for example you are online you're checking your email or you are um, running some online program or even games so you are using your keyboard or your mouse you communicating with your um, operating system and the har operating system com communicates with your hardware and that's how it communicates to other devices on the network